this is like a summation of all the things we talked about about playing singles and we're gonna break it down using a lot of the good demos I found first rule is control the center of the court remember cross cards better than down the line if they hit a down the line tell your students to cross court it's a very simple thing to do so get the point going on the return of serve it's stretched out wide weak shot corner hit the cross court run them so kind of weak shot down the line near the cross court that's basic okay because you're learning about cross controlling cross court whenever you have a down the line if you hit the cross court you run into the alley you're in pretty good shape Now this shot set up because from the middle of the court you play the corners to move your opponent. She hits a really tough inside out backhand shot to the forehand which is kind of unexpected and runs him and gets a short reply. So he's open with the serve, going in the middle, cuts down the angles, get the middle shot. From there go inside out, run them, short ball, easy put away, come in. On our down the lines, we don't hit down the lines when we're coming in, passing shots, approach shots, or clear winners when the person's totally off the court. So from the middle, you always play the corners to make your point move. That way they're all taking a step to the ball. If you make someone take a step to the ball, it's much more difficult for them to hit a clean winner on you. This is a matter about knowing where your forehand is. Now we incorporate the forehand to the thirds, okay? From the yellow to the right, you want to hit all forehands. From the left, you hit ba backhands. And from the red, you hit defensive backhands. This girl plays pretty unusual. Most girls don't do this, but she's hitting all forehands. Off the return, she shifts, hits the forehand cross. On the middle ball, shifts, hits the forehand. Now the girl is actually trying to pull her wide, but goes back to the middle, and then you use your forehand to finish. That's what you want to be teaching your students. Use your forehand to, to set the points up because the forehand is easier to disguise than the backhand. So by knowing where your forehand is and using it to control the center like we talked about earlier, you can go corner, you can go corner from the middle of the court and you really utilize a weapon. Now this is an example of a point where they're trying to pick on each other's backhands. And what you want to do is use your forehand against their backhand and force them to hit a backhand. Okay? And the boy in the white should be hitting more forehands, but he's not. But his opponent is trying to turn it around as soon as possible. So we get the return, middle of the court, goes down the line, so with the cross court, which is a very nice shot. Now this is a good shot. We get cross court back. And then we get a cross court back. This guy in the white should turn it around, but he can't turn around this one. It's too far. You have to hit the backhand. But the guy on the other side turns it around, hits a forehand, and he goes down the line, which is a bad shot because you're off balance and you're just struggling to get back in the point. What's the point of that? And so now we talk about plays. What are the proper plays? And you only go down the line in three if you're balanced. You keep it in front of you, and you come around the outside of the ball to make sure you bring the ball in. That's a very important point. So let's go through this slowly. Let's go to one. All right, from one, we have the return of serve. You can go to one, two, or three on the court. If it goes to three, we'll go across to number two, you hit the cross court to their backhand. If it goes to two, you hit the cross court to their backhand. If it goes to one, you hit the down the line to their backhand. And the key is you're trying to play their backhand. And now it's a matter of preset shots. These are the shots from three parts of the court. You can actually teach your students to hit these three shots. And you work on these three shots so they can hit these three shots without thinking about it. Because you're trying to get the court changed over to their backhand. Huge. Because you're going to try to get your forehand to hit to their backhand. And the only way you're going to get out of this pattern is they have to hit down the line or do something really radical. So you're forcing them to adjust to you. You're inflicting your pattern on them. My pattern is no matter where you hit the ball, I'm going to hit to your backhand. And from there, it opens everything else up. Here's an example of playing too short a backhand. Same rules to apply. If you're going to play the backhand, you want to really get to the, the backhand corner. So you hit this ball to the middle of the court at 2, it really opens up the short cross court pass or finishing shot. And the just return serve is tough in this sequence, but you need to learn how to hit this backhand so you can finish. You come up and you just finish with the cross court backhand. 
So get used to hitting these three shots from the three positions to the backhand side of the court. And then what you need to do is start thinking about what's going to happen on the next sequence of shots. What's the second shot after that? It does take a lot of skill to do this when you're just attacking the backhand side. So I use it as a play 80% of the time and I play the court the rest of the time. So no matter where the ball goes in this play, even when they go down the line, you hit back cross court. They go back to your corner, you go back to cross court. They hit cross court, you go back cross court. And you force them to adjust to you. And you'll see in this play what happens is the guy is trying to adjust it. He's trying to turn the court over. We get a body serve. Go back to the backhand here. You're going cross court. Not far enough, so the guy brings up his forehand, goes back to the backhand. I thought this could be a backhand. He goes down the line to try to turn the court. The guy turns the court to his forehand and comes over here, but it's not down the line enough, so he goes back to the backhand again. So we're back to the backhand pattern. And it's too far over to really do anything. So he's trying to turn the court again, but the guy says, no, I'm going back to your backhand. And he's going down the line again, and so the guy says, no, I'm going back to your backhand. And now the guy in the white has to do something really odd. I thought this was a really odd shot, a drop shot down the line to the backhand, which he finishes on the backhand again. Playing the backhand creates a lot of frustration. That's why I really like it as a pattern. If the opponent doesn't like their backhand, you get them so anxious to hit a forehand. But it does take a lot of skill to keep hitting the ball to one side of the court. And you might end up running side to side. So you have to kind of balance that out with your opponent and see what you can do. But you need to get to the point where you're thinking about the second shot. Okay, now we have an example, you know, the guys trying to turn the court around. So from one, we go to two, you're hitting cross court, the person goes up the line, you hit back to their backhand. Or from one, they go to your backhand, and you, you go to three, down low, and you just repeat the pattern, you're just going to hit everything to the backhand. And what ends up happening is you end up playing the same points over and over again. They hit to your forehand, you go down the line to their backhand, you're back into this forehand, backhand, cross court pattern. They hit to your backhand, you, you do the same thing. We get a serve to the backhand. Cross court backhand, goes back to the backhand, takes it up the line trying to turn the court around because this person wants the court to turn so she can hit a big forehand. And now she's coming over to get the forehand up to bear again. And that's why she's doing it because she has a big forehand. So in this pattern, when they go down the line to your forehand, instead of hitting the cross court, you go back to the backhand. This person that was playing that match was very unevenly balanced. Her forehand was significantly stronger than her backhand. And you have to judge that when you're playing. What is their strength? If their strength is their forehand, then you go to playing only one side of the court. Be careful now. You have to be able to reverse these patterns because you might play a lefty. And it changes everything. All right, here's a point where they're pretty much just playing the court because they both like their backhands, but the guy is hitting more forehands. The guy on the other side is hitting a lot of forehands, and he's willing to go cross-court forehand, cross-court forehand. You only go cross-court forehand if your forehand is better than their forehand. And the guy on the other side knows my forehand is better, so I'm going to go cross-court forehand, cross-court forehand. And he's also trying to run this guy on this side. So he has a down-the-line shot, hits the down-the-line shot, runs him. The guy hits a cross-court. The guy on the other side turns around, hits a forehand, and still dictating with the forehand, and runs him again. And that's the key. you got to maintain control of the center, because all these balls go to the center court, the guy on the other side can dictate, dictate, dictate. So work on these shots so you can maintain control of the point, and you can dictate.